strong. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jose, and today I have a very, very exciting video. Today we are starting the airlift performance install on my 2021 Toyota Supra. And it's crazy guys because I've only had this car for about two months. So we didn't waste no time guys. I'm already doing the airlift system on it and it only has a thousand miles on the clock right now. Before we start guys, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos. I'll give you guys a quick walk around before we do anything. First thing I'm gonna do is get this thing up on jack stands so that the car is ready to go. Look at that wheel gap. Nasty, nasty wheel gap has to go. Once you go bags, you never go back, guys. I'm telling you that right now. So hopefully this thing will look super good aired out. I'm super excited right now. It's crazy that this suspension only has a thousand miles on it. Obviously, I'm gonna keep all the stock components safe inside of a box so that if I ever wanna sell the car or anything like that, I could always put my stock suspension back on if needed. So always, guys, I recommend to save your stock suspension just in case. I actually already finished my trunk setup, guys, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Um, I didn't really want to film any of it just because I feel like that's what takes the longest when you do a sus air suspension install is your trunk setup. So I'll show you guys right now. I basically started um, with a piece of wood. I measured it so that it fit my trunk perfectly. And then I have a two and a half gallon tank, which is polished. And I have uh, dual compressors. It's always good to have dual compressors. I actually went with a smaller tank this time just to save some more room inside of the trunk. So my goal this time was actually to save as much trunk space as possible just because the Supra doesn't have that much trunk space as is. So I didn't want to be left with zero trunk space. So this is why I went with a two gallon tank so that I could fit the compressors right beside it instead of in front of it. So I have the two compressors already mounted. Everything's already mounted, as you can see. Um, they're mounted onto the tank. I have my water trap here. This is a manual water trap. So yeah, guys, this is basically my trunk setup all finished here. I went ahead and did that just to save some more time on this video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments of this trunk setup. It's very simple, very clean in my opinion. I didn't want to do anything too crazy. So yeah, it actually fits perfect inside the trunk. You guys will see in a little bit. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get this car on jack stands. Okay, so I know someone's gonna ask me in the comment about these mounts on my jack stands. I think I got these from eBay. I'll leave the link down in the description box below in case you guys want to get a set of these they come with two so if you want all four to put the whole car in the air you will need to buy two um two sets of these to have all four but in case you guys didn't know these jack stand mounts are actually designed for like bmws supras i think mini coopers there might be other cars out there but um yeah mainly bmws have these type of mounts underneath the car so this will actually keep the jack stand from ruining the little um, plastic piece underneath your car. Okay guys, so my jack actually wasn't able to go underneath my car because it was too low, which is crazy to me because this is supposed to be like a low profile jack and it's definitely not low profile if it won't go under a stock height Supra. So <laughs> I had to put some wood underneath the two front tires. So now let's see if the jack will fit underneath the front of the car. Yep.
Alright guys, so in the rear driver's side, you have to remove this, which is attached to the control arm right here. All it has is one 10 millimeter um, bolt at the top and this whole piece comes down just so you won't break this whenever you take off the spring. So there was actually a plastic grommet here that you have to kind of break off and then I installed one of these rubber grommets that I bought and I poked a hole in it so that we can run the airline from here to the back of the air spring that's gonna sit in here. Okay, so this is where I mounted the manifold where all the lines go to. And I basically just used an L bracket and then bolted it onto that and then bent the L bracket again up here to bolt onto the actual metal of the car. So we're actually gonna plug in a line right here in the rear left port, just like that. And we're gonna run this line all the way around the battery, out this grommet that I was showing y'all and to the back of the air spring underneath the car. So I went ahead and took the nut off of the sway bar. That's gonna come off later. So next is this nut right here. This is the one holding the actual strut in. You're gonna use the same 16 millimeter socket as the sway bar nut. All right guys, so once you have all those nuts off, you're gonna wanna put a pry bar. I used this side of the hammer. Stuck it in there and then pry it on it while hitting the brake rotor down with a mallet and it pops right out of the sleeve. And now you can just unbolt the four um, screws at the top and it'll come right out.